good afternoon. It's Kelly Fisher at Treasure Coast Sotheby's International Realty, and we are back for another edition of our video blog, coming to you from the rooftop at Treasure Coast Sotheby's International Realty. It's another beautiful day in Florida. It's hot, though. Very hot. <laughs> it's hot, right? Absolutely. We're sweating here. Anyway, so I am back with my friend Eric Intahar from U.S. Mortgage here in Florida, and... What I wanted to talk with Eric about today and you guys, because we are seeing a lot of people who are getting their pre-qualification from the internet. Well, maybe that's okay for some people, but for most people, it tends to bring some surprises, right? It does. Yeah. I've been, been originating mortgages for 19 years, and it's such an interesting industry. Um, it's, it's certainly not a commodity. You're not going to the grocery store to buy a dozen bananas, you're, you're actually getting a, a sophisticated financial product. So it's very, very important that when you're, you're going to evaluate what your mortgage options are, that you're dealing with somebody that you can know and trust, someone that you can get a hold of, and someone that relates to you very well as, uh, as well. There's lots of questions that you're going to have as part of the normal mortgage process. Really important that you have someone that has both the experience and the patience in order to address those concerns for you, to right lead you in the right direction. So do you have any... Um I hate to say it this way, but good horror stories about people who have gotten pre-qualified on the internet and then ended up in your playground where you had to kind of save the day. Kelly, it happens almost all the time. You know, certain representations and promises will be made by these online lenders because they're online in nature. There's no real relationship that the lender has with the actual realtor or with the client. Therefore, you're just not a priority. And you can't do that when you're going to buy a house. That's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot of risk to take on for such a big financial decision, isn't it? It really is. And as a matter of fact, as a general rule of thumb, when you're working with an online lender, you're typically working with somebody that's not as experienced as someone that's been in the business for a long period of time working on their own. So well, that's a really good point. So it's more like a, um, a starting point for people who are new in the business. You can certainly call it entry level, as, as I would term it, yes. Yeah, entry level mortgages. Well, kind I don't know about scary. you, but I don't, I don't think I would together. want that. Absolutely not. That's like water and oil, isn't it? Yeah. So, so the difference, obviously, as well, and I can say this from just experience and working with Eric, is that, okay, so we sometimes have some older clients. Maybe they don't have Internet access or they're not too savvy with just electronics in general where the lender, being a local person, actually will go out to the house me with the person. I mean, we had we had that one in Sebastian not that long Actually, ago. Two, two clients now. And and you know, it's like they've got to get stuff done. There's deadlines that have to be met, and you know, a local lender is going to actually be able to go to the house and help them walk through and navigate the process, as opposed to someone at any of the, any of these online lenders, Lending Tree or whatever, that they just they can't do that for you. So customer service is key. The personal touch is what it's all about. You're getting great customer service from your realtor. You should also demand great customer service from the mortgage professional that you end up working with. That's what I deliver. You know, whether it's uh, whether it's beating a client after hours, whether it's you know. Did you say beating a client after hours? I did not say beating. You said, I said meeting. meeting. Yes. I hope you said meeting. I okay, I good. I do the beating. No, I'm kidding. That's fine. Okay, but but it's true. The personal touch is really really critical. Absolutely. And dealing with somebody that's both experienced and also has the patience as well to explain and, uh, all, the, all the questions and concerns that you may have. And right. So you have a good understanding of the process. Yeah, because sometimes people do wake up in a, in a cold sweat in the middle of the night going, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? You would be surprised how often that happens. Yes. So. Yeah. Right. So you're taking those calls in the middle of the night. Absolutely. Well, if the phone rings, and, that, and that's why you're here with us on this video today. So if Eric, you could give your contact information for those people who are warriors and sweaters and want to talk to someone in the middle of the night, please go ahead. Sure. Mobile number is area code 954-448-9829. Great. And if you need to buy, sell, or invest in real estate in the Vero Beach area, of course, we here at the Kelly Fisher team would be thrilled to help you with that. And we can be reached at 772-236-7862. Thanks for coming back to our video blog this month, and we'll see you next time.